Hey guys, Matt here from Drank Quest, and today I've got you what I think is the best deck for Link into the Veins. It's the Magical Musketeer profile. Right, start with the main deck, run three cast bar. This one can search any musket card that doesn't have the same name as the one that was used to activate it. Three Starfire specs any of the muskets in defense. Calamity specs a musket from the grave in defense. Kid Brave, discard a musket card, draw two. Uh, two Dock. That allows you to add back a musket card from the graveyard. And then one Zakiel. Main thing with this is the level, but you can also use it on your opponent's turn to draw cards. So all of the musket cards, they do have the same first line of text that allows you to activate the spells and traps from hand. Running three Parallel Exceed. Since the deck is a Link 1 deck, it enables you to be able to use Parallel Exceed um, to chain block the Link 1 monster and then set up rank four plays. Play in one Pancratops. This one tributes itself to pop a card, really good go second card. Playing three Alpha Master of the Beasts, another good go second card can non-target out, bounce some cards, as well as just being a big beater. Playing three of the new Keshtira Fenrir, so this card has quite a few effects, it special summons itself when you don't have any monsters on your field. It can search itself and it can also banish a card that your opponent controls when they activate a monster effect or it declares an attack. Playing three nib and the format staple, three dimension shifter. Um, this deck, in my opinion, is great for being able to run dimension shifter in Nibiru. It allows you to get rid of a lot of the problem decks in the format, that being sprite and tear. And then we're playing the best card in the deck, Link to the Brains. So this card reads that you can special summon a monster from your hand. You negate its effects, but then immediately link summon. Since the musket link monster is link one, you can have any musket in hand, special summon it. Make the link one, and then you get the effects of the link one. Be down to be disrupted because your opponent cannot respond to the link monster. They can only respond to link to the brains. It does have a graveyard effect as well, where you can banish it to add back a musket if the link one is destroyed. Playing three prosperity, banish six cards from your extra deck. Excavate for six and then add one to your hand. You're usually looking for either a musket if you don't have one, one of the musket spells traps, or you're looking for Link into the Brains. Playing double or nothing, half brick in the deck, but it is really good for being able to OTK some small monsters. Called by to stop Ash. And then Harpy's Feather Duster for those pesky back row decks that you can't play through. For the musket spell traps, play in Three cross domination, this one negates an opponent's monster's effect and makes its attack and defense zero. Playing three last stand, which is a counter trap for a spell trap negate. Two desperado, target face up card, pop it. Crooked crown, as you spec a musket from your hand during the main phase. And then dancing needle, which is a triple DD crow, target three cards, banish them in the grove. So all of these cards can be used from your hand as long as you've got a face up magical musketeer on your field. Onto the extra deck, so playing one Zen mains, that's your rank three. It can protect itself, and then in the end phase, if it's managed to protect itself, it can target a card on the field and destroy it. Playing the Utopia double package for the rank fours, allows you to OTK over weak monsters, use the Utopia double quick effect, add the double and a thin, uh, rank up into Utopia, attack, negate its own attack, and then go double over it to do 10k over something that has 2k or less attack, and you'll OTK. I'm playing Abyss Dweller for the current format, that shuts down a lot of the decks. And then for time rules, Skagaga Cowboy, I've come to realise is needed for the deck. It gets you some wins in the main phase, just by being able to do the 800 damage to your opponent. <laughs> for the Lynx, playing the mandatory 3 Magical Musketeer Max, which is the crazy card that makes this deck worth playing. So it has two effects, on summon it will add up to 5 spell or traps depending on how many monsters your opponent controls or it will special summon up to five monsters from your deck depending on how many spell or traps they control. Playing Nightmare Phoenix, the new Muckraker from the Underworld. This is just good fiend support. It can protect fiends, um, it can use fiends to protect other cards. Just general toolbox fiend. Playing the Underworld Goddess, if you're able to summon a lot of monsters and your opponent has a pesky monster to out, 
This card can turn a match around quite quickly. Play Blackluster Soldier, Soldier of Chaos. This is why we play the Zakiel in the deck. It's a level eight, so it allows you to get the protection effect, which a lot of the road decks at my locals unfortunately cannot out. It does have three effects itself. When it destroys monster by battle, it can gain 1500 attack, making it 4500 beta. It can make two attacks on the next turn, or it can banish a card on the field non-target. So it can out a lot of good stuff. And then we just played the generic access code talker and Appaloosa Bird the Goddess. Um, access code, you can use any link three or lower uh, to make it. It will gain the attack and then it's able to pop cards using link monsters in your graveyard to banish them and pop. And the Appaloosa, the amount of materials that it's used to summon it, it gains that many attack and then it can lose 800 attack to negate. That is the Magical Musketeer profile. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.